Well, <laughs> this video, this is a video that I've been waiting to make. Um, this is a video that some of y'all have been waiting for because, you know, I know y'all are nosy. It's okay. I'm nosy too. Um, but I made a short version of this, like on my Instagram and TikTok and whatnot, right? But I wanted to actually sit down and talk about the real reasons behind why I decided after being a full-time entrepreneur since 2018, the reason why I decided to go full-time into tech as an employee for a, a software company. There's just so many factors that went into it, which is why I wanted to just sit down and do like a full length video and really talking about each of those reasons, right? Because I feel like that someone is going to benefit from hearing my thought process on this. And of course, there's people out there that are, you know, I hate using the term like haters, but I've gotten to comment, you know, oh, all the influencers are, you know, running to jobs now, right? Um, and so I want to just address all those things and really just take you through my thought process and the things that I'm working on now. And hopefully that this all makes sense to you. Because I know that there have been a lot of people saying, hey, I really looked up to you as like an entrepreneur business owner, you know? And so I know that this can be a little bit jarring to hear, okay, now I'm going to go work for a tech company, right? I'm supposed to be like the whole girl boss, right? So I just want to talk about that. And I want to kind of start off in the beginning, right? So I've been a full-time entrepreneur literally since 2018, when I was pregnant with my daughter, I ended up leaving my job because it's a whole thing. I'll make a whole nother story, a video about that. But I left that job because I was not being treated fairly properly as a pregnant woman working at that company. Okay. Left there, been a full-time entrepreneur ever since. I hadn't worked for anybody besides our own companies. And then earlier this year, I was already feeling very burnt out with what I was doing, right? So I was have I had the coaching business where I was coaching small businesses with their marketing and helping them create digital products. And I also had a, a consulting business where we were actually helping small businesses like one-on-one -on -one with starting their um, different digital products and running their memberships for them. And with that service, I made a ton of mistakes, which... I really want to do a deep dive into those mistakes. I know that it'll be so helpful, um, but I made a ton of mistakes with that. And I felt like I felt like I needed kind of like a reset because, again, I was getting super burnt out with the teaching and the coaching, even though it's something that I absolutely love to do because I also had to do a billion other things in order to run the business. I couldn't really focus on the things that I loved, right? So I got burnt out very quickly. Um, I really felt like I did not build that business structure in a way that was very stable and so it was just so much up and down so much fluctuating right and so this year um things are very very different as far as on and i'm just i'm gonna just be honest with y'all financially it was very different 2023 than it had been the previous years i went from being able to make five ten even fifteen thousand dollars a day sometimes to struggling to even make that ten fifteen thousand dollars a month in my business and that shift in income really took a toll on me mentally right like my mental health took a deep dive this year y'all like I'm being so serious I know some people are going to be like oh well fifteen thousand dollars a month is a lot of money I know it's a lot of money to a lot of people but when you come from making that in one day to barely making that in a month, struggling to, to push for that, like doing everything that you were doing before times 10 and only making that, like that really just took me out mentally. I was struggling, y'all. And I got the opportunity to work with a tech company called College Cash earlier this year because I met the founder um, at, a, um, at an event last year in 2022 and um, have been just doing some one-offs with them and then ended up working with them as a fractional CMO for his company. And getting experience and just learning about like the tech industry, the startup world, um, and being on a team of people, I got a taste of that. And I realized that I love, I love being a business owner. I really, really do. But I also want to experience that. Like I want to experience corporate. I want to experience working for a software company. 
because now my goals are a little bit different. And I really want to grow my career in tech. I honestly love it. I absolutely love working in the technology industry, learning about all the different things that I'm learning about. Like right now I'm taking a project management class. I am learning about Agile and Scrum. I'm doing all these things that I never would have done if I kept doing what I was doing in my business. So, um, and I really see myself growing in that within my career, right? So now I'm working with a software company and I realized that if I really want the type of financial success that I talk about, like not just making a few million, like I'm talking about hundreds of millions of dollars. If I want to be on that playing field, I have to do something bigger than just being an online coach. I'm just no knock to anybody, but it's a fact. Okay. Also, I wanted to be able to make a lot of money outside of just from social media. So I decided, yes, I'm going to go work for a company, which I am. And I've also decided that, yes, I'm still going to be a business owner and I'm growing an IT company. I'm starting and growing an IT company as we speak. This is something that is not being advertised on social media. So I really haven't been talking about it too much, which I'm going to start kind of talking about it more just to kind of show you guys like behind the scenes of stuff that I'm actually doing to build this. But this is a business that if social media shut down and I never posted ever again, this company would still survive because it's on so much of a bigger level. So yes, I am an employee working for a software company, but yes, I also am a still a business owner. And yes, I still am a content creator. A lot of people are like, oh, why would you, why would you give up business ownership and content creation and go work for somebody? Like, I have a much bigger vision than just right now. Much bigger vision. And so growing my career is going to help me in so many different ways. I really want to grow my career and really build out my network. Um, and like I said, just really be really grow a much larger business than something that only exists in the online world. So that has been my focus and my mission um, for these you know last several months for majority of this year is really getting that going. And I've also started a nonprofit organization called Young in Tech Inc., where the mission of that is to um, really help bring more accessibility, more information, more knowledge regarding opportunities with technology, whether that is career advancement and development for the youth, whether that is going into um, certain parts of cities and towns and helping them create more solutions with technology. Like you'd be surprised how many households don't have computers and tablets and um, different equipment and devices like that, that could really, really be helpful in today's world. And so that's my goal with Young in Tech. And so me being able to actually go and work a salary, a pretty high paid salary, to be honest, not to put all my business out there, but being able to work for a company, get this experience, build my network, um, really see the inner workings of a company and like, wow, this is what it takes to actually run a multi, multi hundred million plus company, right? What See what it takes, but also this is giving me the space to build my business the right way. This is giving me the space to build my IT company and is giving me the space to build my nonprofit the right way, because when you're a full-time entrepreneur, yes, it's great in so many aspects, but there's also a lot of, of cons to it as well. And only depending on that for your income. Like for me, I felt like a lot of the things that I was doing, a lot of the decisions that I was making was very rushed. I felt like I was wasting a lot of money because I was just trying to invest in so much coaching and teaching because I had to make the most amount of money as fast as possible because this was the stream of income. Like... I didn't have a job. I had my business. Now I feel like now that I'm working for a company, I'll actually have the space to not feel rushed to make money right away. Right now I can take the, um, the revenue from my company and invest that back into my business and still be able to live the lifestyle that I want to live. So that was a lot, but there's, there's just so many reasons why I felt like this was a good choice for me. And I know that I don't necessarily owe anybody an explanation because it's my life, obviously, but I felt like really explaining the true reason behind it could be helpful because in today's world, with social media, having a, a nine to five is often shamed. 
And even with me being a full-time entrepreneur for so long, I was never really that person to tell people to go and quit their job, you know, as soon as they make the first $5,000, right? Or telling people that it's bad to have a nine to five because it's not. It's crazy because if you go and look at the numbers, like the real numbers of how much people are actually making as full-time entrepreneurs and business owners, I think the average salary is like thirty to 40000 for full-time business owners, the average. Now, you can go get a job for a company, especially in the tech field, and make two, three, four times that easily, right? And so a lot of people that are working these corporate positions are more financially successful than some of these business owners. And a lot of people um, were asking me in my comments like, oh, well, you're giving up the time freedom and you're, you know, you're giving up that autonomy. You know, what's crazy. The position that I have now is salaried and there's no like clock in time, clock out time. Like I do what I got to do. And if I get it done in five hours that day, cool. If I get it done in 10 hours that day, cool, whatever. But it's the same thing in my business. I was working more in the business and taking home honestly less like overall taking home less for me personally so there are so many different factors that you'll want to consider if you are someone who is even considering this but I just hope that like hearing my thought process can be helpful um just to to give you some perspective and give you some clarity it's not for everyone like not everyone is able to work a high paid salary job and still run a business in a nonprofit and still create content you know but God has given me this vision that's so much bigger than myself and I realized that um yes I love doing the online stuff but the vision that he has for me is so much bigger and it's going to take more it's going to take a lot more than that that's a little bit of an insight look to my decision um but yeah Honestly, I love it here. I love what I'm building. I love that I can really focus on building my IT company and my nonprofit and not be super rushed to make a profit right away. Um, I love the experience of being able to work at a software company and really just gain more skills. Um, I was doing research the other day on LinkedIn because LinkedIn is like my, it's my new platform that I'm really trying to focus on building. And I saw this lady and I can't remember her name. I wish I could find her name. She is an executive at Target, like the headquarters at Target. She's, I can't remember what her role was now, but it was a black woman. And I thought that was amazing. And I looked her up and I looked up her net worth, which, you know, because I'm just nosy. So I'm like, what, what type of salaries do these people make in these like executive positions? And I don't know what her yearly salary is, but I know that her and her husband, they have a net worth that is literally eight figures. So you can put two to two together. Okay. She, you know, they're making pretty good. And so I think we have this preconceived notion that you can't be financially successful climbing the corporate ladder. Um, and you absolutely can be, and you can still be a thought leader and you can still do speaking engagements and have a personal brand and, and, and write books and do all of these things. Right. So it really just depends on what your overall goals are. And I just encourage you to just go after that. I don't care what anybody thinks. Like, Yes, people are judging me because I now work for a company, but I also own my own company and I am on the board as a founder of a nonprofit. And we're already working with a city government official in Oklahoma to create a program. So this is giving me the opportunity and the space to do a lot of things and it's going to continue to do that. So I have no shame in it, honestly. Um, I love working in the technology field. And like I said, I'm gaining more and more skills. I'm learning project management, um, agile, scrum. I'm learning all of these things. And it's been so beneficial in my career, but it's also going to be very, very beneficial as I grow this business. So that's a little bit of an insight look as to why I decided to work for a software company in tech and build my business and build my nonprofit and still, of course, come here as a content creator and give you information and resources um, because that's just honestly what I love to do. I love to give information. I love to teach. I love to coach. I still love to do those things, which is why I'm really pouring into this YouTube channel. So 
Um, I have a ton of resources and information for you in the description. As always, join our Facebook group, Young in Tech. I have some discounted boot camps um, if you're looking to break into tech. And just check out the rest of my videos. Like if you're someone who is all about just being successful um, financially, personally, like I'm really going to be sharing my journey um, for a lot of changes that are happening with I'm on this weight loss journey and I am trying to grow a business and grow my career and I'm really just going to be sharing these things and all the lessons that I'm learning just because I know that if this could help one person then it's all worth it you know and so um, make sure you hit that subscribe button you know if you are interested in learning about entrepreneurship and um, the technology industry and just everything in between right um, make sure you hit that subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video for the algorithm. I really would appreciate that and leave your comments, questions, concerns down below um, in the comment section. I, I try to respond to pretty much everyone. But yeah, that's all I got for you today. It is your favorite entrepreneur turned techie, Sarah Nicole. We're going to catch you on the next video.